Without a ranked contender, what this fighter's gonna need is a novelty. This is the land of opportunity, right? Well, Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. My name is Kobe, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also if you want to stay up to date with all of our news, follow Popcorn Roulette on Instagram and you can also follow me personally on Instagram at Kobe Connell, if you so choose. Uh, today I'm going to start a different journey and this is a Rocky journey. So another franchise that I have somehow completely avoided, um, but I'm excited. I know, I know some backstory, I mean I know that he you know, it was like this big hard sell for him to get it made and then it ended up winning Best Picture and was this sort of huge success. Um, so I'm excited, but other than that, I just know it's a boxing movie. So it's Sylvester Stallone, uh, Talia Shire, Burt Young, Burgess Meredith, and, um, and the late, great Carl Weathers. So no better time to um, have a look back and start with Rocky One. So for the full watch along, head over to our Patreon. And with that, let's get into the movie. The more of these I do, I do get excited. I feel like I had been cynical about things and then I, and then I give them a chance and they are good films. So hopefully this one is the same. I mentioned that I know it uh, won Best Picture, but it beat Taxi Driver. That part makes me sad because it better be good because I love Taxi Driver. I, um, I reacted to it recently. It's over on Criminal Content if you want to go check it out. But uh, it has a very, holds a very high spot in my, uh, in my heart, so this better be good. <laughs> Rock, I bet the fight don't go three rounds. You feel strong? <laughs> I was about to say, what's his last name? Rocky, does he have a last name? Rocky Balboa, right? <laughs> that I know. <laughs> but this is some like small time underground like illegal boxing ring or legit the italian stallion that's right you get winners share sixty five dollars less fifteen dollars locker and corner man five dollars shower and towel and seven percent tax comes to 40 55. They charge him shower and tax and 40 bucks, I guess, back then. is What's that like making a few hundred bucks? Equivalent of? <laughs> the hat. I've seen that image before. Leather jacket and the hat. Rocky. Do, 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 take it back. Do, 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 I said I'm Bill Baldwin. I'm guessing that's not Billy Baldwin. <laughs> I just call it Billy. The fact that he wrote this though, he wrote it, believed in it, sold his dog, I think, to like get the money to get it, someone to believe in it to get it made. And then as soon as it was a success, he went back and bought his dog back or found it from the guy he sold it to or something like that. I have to look it up. But yeah, everyone was like, no, 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 you can't be in it. They liked the story, I think, but he was like, no, I want to be in it. I thought he directed this one too, but no, he didn't, obviously. I think he directed the second one. You guys hungry? No. Here you go. Where's the little fish? Where? Here you go. Say hi. You know, if you guys could sing or dance, I wouldn't be doing this, you know? His voice. I mean, he's always got his mumbly, like, you know, Sylvester Stallone thing. But this is like extra, you know, like the Italian. <laughs> you know, we got to add more flies in. No more moss in it. Flies. You want fly? One more stuff. Who the hell cares? Oh, it's a little turtle. He has a kid? Or it's a picture of himself when he was younger to, to like, you know, live up to and like make proud. Oh, get a puppy. Get a puppy, Rocky. I hope this is all foreshadowing of him actually getting one. Come in. You know, the last turtle food I got here had more moss in it than flies, right, Adrian? 
And these moths, they get caught in the turtle's throat right about here in a cough, right? I gotta smack them on the back of the shell. What do you think they get? But that's Adrian. That's Talia Shire. Yo, buggies. <laughs> oh. Big dog in a little cage. Okay, we get it. She's shy. <laughs> and maybe likes him. You want to borrow, you got to pay the man. Hey, I ain't emotionally involved, dog. You understand? Give me some money. It's 130, yeah. You're still $70 late. You don't have to break nothing. Here, take the coat. <laughs> take the coat. Keep, keep the coat. Keep the coat. I guess he's gonna go sell the coat, make 50 bucks. He only had 130, but I think he's good for the rest next week, Mr. Gasol. Sure, Rocky. Bob's good for it. That's it for today. Tomorrow, collect from Del Rio. He's late three weeks. Did you get the license number? The what? The truck that ran over your face. Relax, buddy. I pull it over here. I want to let Rocky out, and then I'm going to talk to him for a few seconds. That's still not that much money, because he only made 40-something for that whole fight, and then that guy just handed him 20 just for getting some money off Bob. So in five minutes, he made half of what he made getting beaten up. Tell me you didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you. Well, how do you know I didn't break? <laughs> From here on in, do what I tell you to do because it's bad for my reputation. You understand? You got, you got it, Rock? I like that he's. Hey, how do you spell Del Rio? <laughs> Look in a dictionary, Rock. Come on. Hey, I won't let that happen no more about the thumb. <laughs> so long, me bag. Don't like him. I should have broke your thumb. I like that he, how he is in this. You know, there's actors that you think of a certain way and over the top or whatever, and it's like I just, I reacted to Beverly Hills Cop that I'd never seen, and then the same was with Eddie Murphy in that. He was like nuanced and natural and like a really good performance. And this is like that with Sly, you know? I always think of him as like larger than life, and it's, it's like subtle and more natural, and I like it. Was that a little piece of paper with the code on it? So he'd remember? That wasn't a tool or anything. Was it just a little? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, yo, my stuff is this in my lock. Stepper stuff. It's been in my locker for six years. Where's my gear? Mickey told me to bag it and hang it. Why? Hey, man. Shut up. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, so that's Burgess Meredith. I don't know who that is. He's a climber. Do you know what you are? What? Tomato. Tomato. Yeah, let's face it, I run a business here, not a goddamn soup kitchen. He just won, though. Yeah, who'd you find? Spider Rico. <laughs> He's a bum. Huh. You got heart, but you fight like a goddamn ape. Because I did real good last night, and you should have seen me. Uh, I did, you're locker, man. You need some help with that case? There's a good game down at the Spectrum tonight. You want to go to the basketball game? She doesn't even talk, she just mm, mm. It's like a whole new level of shy. It's a cold night, you know. If I was you and you got the money, I would uh, take a cab or something. Too many creeps around here, you know. All right, listen, I want to go now, okay? Aww. So, uh, I want to go home, make up a joke. I'm going to tell you a new joke tomorrow, okay? Good night, Adrian. Good night, Robin. Oh, like, they're just so cute and awkward and sweet. He, like, tries to get some kind of response from her. She's just like... <laughs> That she's polite. The heavyweight champion of the world, Apollo Creed, at Kennedy Airport, hey, New York. Hey, Paul, what are you talking about? Oh, so I just heard in the background, Apollo Creed is the champion of the world right now. And that's who Carl Weathers is, right? Pass by you. This is giving me the shoulder. You know what I mean? Every night I pass by the place I tell a joke. Every morning I pass by the place I tell a joke. Nothing. She just looks at me. <laughs> she gets me so crazy. I could split her head with a razor. Adrian is a loser. Hey. She's pushing 30 freaking years old. And if you don't watch out, she's going to end up dying alone. I'm 30 myself. And you're going to end up dying hey, alone. Hey, I don't see no crowd around you, need. You I'd know like what to I mean? kill a freaking moron who broke the mirror. That's, <laughs> oh, that's got to be Bert then, because his face is super familiar. This guy I know. What's he in? <sighs> I got to go. If I'm 10 minutes late, she calls the house. You know. Paulie. I, got it. I don't know what the actor's name is, but I know his face from some other gangster movie. I know it. 
No one. Oh, oh, man. Man. Right. Oh, man. Did your brother know you're hanging out so late? Oh, you guys oh, you These guys yeah. teach you to talk like that. Yeah. 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 You got a boyfriend. No, you ain't got no. a boyfriend. You know why? Why don't you think you have a boyfriend? Because you're hanging out with them coconuts in the corn. Yo. Screw you, creepo. Oh, well. Good intentions. And it probably worked. But who's her brother? Maybe he'll come back into it. Or it's just a neighborhood and nobody. Just to show that he has heart and cares about people. Are the doctor's reports confirmed? Definitely. There we go. For the severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Of course, we can cancel the fight indefinitely if you're set on fighting green. Hell, they know everybody in the world's gonna see this fight and none of them got a prayer whipping me. So they're making excuses so they don't have to be the chump to get whipped in front of the whole civilized world. Promoted fights in every goddamn country in the world. Yeah, with the carnation, the big red carnation and the pocket square. It's all very fancy pants boxing promoter. <laughs> that a ranked contender what this fight is gonna need is a novelty. This is the land of opportunity, right? Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog Ooh. fighter an opportunity. What? A snow white underdog and I'm gonna put his face on this poster with me because I'm sentimental. And a lot of other people in this country are just as sentimental and there's nothing they'd like better than to see Apollo Creed give a local Philadelphia boy a shot at the greatest title in the world on this country's biggest Oh my birthday. God, it's gonna be Rocky and Rocky's gonna win, right? <sighs> it's very American. Now, Jurgens. It's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep having flashes of him as, you know, in Happy Gilmore with his can that the alligator took or the... <laughs> what was his name? It was the caddy. Oh. Teach is happy to go to his happy place. 50 bucks. You and your girl, Adrian, you have a nice time. Yeah? Thanks. Hey, how'd you know her name? Don't think I hear things? Yeah. You gave him 50 bucks? This is what I'm looking for. The Italian Stallion. T. Balboa? Never heard of him. Now, who discovered America? An Italian. What would be better than to get it on with one of his descendants? I don't want you messing around with South Pole. So you do everything back. South Pole, <laughs> nothing. I'll drop him in three. Apollo Creed meets the Italian Stallion. So then that wasn't him watching that fight. Right? Because he doesn't know who he is. It was somebody else. I just, I thought of it after the fact. Someone was standing there. Your sister, you sure your sister knows I'm coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're She's about to find out. Yeah. She's like asleep in bed, has no idea. Yo, how you doing? <laughs> I told you she's very excited. <laughs> he's the, he's the gangster in, um, ah. Uh, it's Thanksgiving, I got a turkey in the oven. No, you don't. No, don't just throw it. Why, you look like an idiot. Keep doing what you're doing. It's funny. I know all about these things. You know who he looks <laughs> like? like? Sure. Did he get older and thinner and become the the gangster in Mickey Blue Eyes? Like like James Caan's boss? Would you like to, uh... I don't know, would you like to maybe, uh, you know, you and me go out together? What do you think? Would you like to? Come on, Adrian. I'll have a real good time, man. She's so shy and quiet and closed off. You can see she ain't feeling too good. So good. If you could let her on the ice, I'd appreciate it. Only for a few minutes. Ten minutes, ten bucks. It's about eight. Eight bucks. Come on, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> you have the ice to yourself. Ten bucks. Give her the plates. <laughs> Skate's got kind of bad for the ankles, you know? Yeah. You're a pretty good skater, aren't you? Is she? <laughs> really hit hard, but I'm a southpaw and nobody wants to fight no southpaw, you know what I mean? Huh? They're cute. Ew, hi. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Why do you want to fight? Because I can't sing or dance. Ew, yo. Ew, yo. They're cute. They're both useless at dating, but they're cute. I don't understand why anybody would want to be a fighter. You got to be a moron. You gotta be a moron to want to be a fighter, you know what I mean? I think it's funny that he wants to date her when she gives nothing. Like, what? what is he trying to... At least she's coming out of her shell a little bit. That nose ain't never been broken. 64 fights. I've had guys busted on it. I had guys chewing on it, twisting it, punching it. I mean, whack, boom. <laughs> yeah. 
Never broke. I'm very proud of that. Not rare. That's rare. I feel like it's gonna break in this movie. Hey, you wanna come inside? No, I gotta go. Hey, come on. Hey, I got some animals. I got these rare, very rare animals. Little turtle and a goldfish. What else? Is it? You gotta stick this face on a stamp. What do you think? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yo. Come on. <laughs> so, not taking no for an answer? But I don't feel like he's gonna attack her or anything. <laughs> These are my friends, Cuff and Link. I sold him to you. You? Yeah, that's me when I was eight years old. That's the Italian style when he was a baby. <laughs> well, I'll call your brother and fix the problem. Hey, yo, Paulie, you snitching with me. I'll call you back later. See ya. Wait, is he that close? Is that how close Paulie's place was from his? Or is he just being funny? Don't go, please. Holding the door shut, that's not aging well. <laughs> she wants, but she's nervous. I still don't know whether he should have kept her there. It's like she's never kissed anyone before, but she likes it. <laughs> Go, Adrian. Yeah, she's so into him. She's just chronically shy, but still. Hey, Rock, how you doing, man? Good. Good. Hey, Mick was looking for you up there, man. For me? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Apollo's people would have reached out. Mickey's gonna love him now for the press, and he's gonna have a locker back. Yeah, they need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. Put me on. There's a car. Who's it here? About an hour ago. They're probably looking for sparring partners for Creed, you know? I said that before, you dumb Jago. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker to some cheap second-rate loan shark. Oh, he doesn't hate him, hate him. He just believed in him. Is Mickey going to turn around and coach him? Or does he, like, coach himself, I wonder, you know? I know they're running upstairs and things. I've been to those stairs. So they pretended it was just spa sparring partners? And now they're gonna say it's an actual fight for the title? My proposition's this. Would you be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight <laughs> Championship? Well, it's just that you see uh, I fight in clubs, you know, and I'm really a ham and egg, or this guy, he's the best, and uh, it wouldn't be such a good fight, but th thank you very much, you know, I appreciate it. He's gonna prove it to the whole world by giving an unknown a shot at the title. And that unknown is you. He's gotta win, right? I mean, I don't know. Cause it could go either way. It's like the whole film could be about, you know, still getting that great opportunity, but he doesn't win. Or he could just win. And now I have to wait an hour to find out. Where did you get the name Italian Stadium? Oh. Uh... I invented that uh, about eight years ago when I was eating dinner. Now your payday will be $150,000. Any comment? Uh, you, no. you got no... Oh, my gosh. I just want to say hi to my girlfriend, okay? Hi, uh, yeah. Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. <laughs> you believe all this? It's me, Rocky. It's all in the help with the exercise and someone standing by with a towel or running errands. This guy's going to help with the exercise. Einstein flunked out of school twice. Dead son. Yeah. Beethoven was deaf. Helen okay, Keller was blind. I think Rocky's got a good chance. I love that they're just like together. They went out, ice skated for 10 minutes. And now they're like. <laughs> your dog's right here. Put this in your glove. What's this? 500 bucks. Don't worry about it. You know, you ain't never had any luck. But I think this time Lady Luck may be in your corner. What do you think? Oh, well, that's nice. Yo, Tony. What? You gonna show up at the fight? Ringside. Yes, hey, baby. hey. <laughs> oh, well, his lone sharky gangster boss is being very supportive. You should have seen me when I knocked a guinea Russell out of the ring. And it was the same night that Furpo knocks Dempsey out of the ring. The same night. So who gets the publicity? Figure that out. Dempsey. That's right, but why? Because he was a champ. No! Because he had a manager. I had nothing, man. He did just make that comment before, though, in the at the gym. I got 
34 stitches over this eye. I, I, you know what? I had my nose busted seven times. That makes you times. know he believes in him. But now is he just looking for a payday? Rocky Marciano. And you got heart like he did. I got heart, but I ain't got no locker, do I, Mick? Uh, Maybe it's a bit of both. Maybe he does believe in him and wants to help, but also thinks for himself. If the first said, listen to me, I want to be your manager. You follow that, do you? The first said, I don't need no manager. Yeah. I ain't had no pride. I ain't enough. Legs are going, everything is going, no one's getting enough. Nut. Guy comes up, offers me a fight. Big deal. Want to fight the fight? Yeah, I'll fight the big fight. Legs ain't working. Nothing's working. They go, go on, fight the chip. I think they actually really like, you know, love each other to a point where like, I think he wanted his help for so long and... Wait, they're shaking on agreeing that he can do it? Yeah. I don't think that was just a goodbye. I mean, it could be either. It could be just a look, I'm sorry for the screaming, we're good, we're cool. But I think it was okay, you wanna do it, do it. I think you just had to get all of that out. And maybe he has a little manager now. Manager trainer. Better trainer than Polly. <laughs> well, he's in training mode. Four eggs. Please scramble them and do not drink them. Five eggs. Oh, that's real. <laughs> Just drank five eggs. I'm gonna be sick. And I love eggs. The training begins. How far away is the fight? What did they say it was? Like 3.30 in the morning? What am I gonna like, you know, five or five? That's still early. I've been here on my long cross country tip, uh, trip that I made the documentary about. Um, well, that I'm making the documentary about. I took my parents here and we came to the steps. And I had still, I hadn't seen Rocky, but I knew, I knew how famous they were. And now there's a statue of Stallone at the bottom of them, like this. It's a, it's a library or something? What is it? Um, it's, I forget. <laughs> yeah, down to the bottom and then to the left, just there on the left, there's a statue of him. Hey, did you kill all these things? Oh, across the street. He's just pushing them so they swing into him. It's the only reason he's doing it. You balling home? Hey, you don't talk dirty about your sister. <laughs> but are you? <laughs> Tenderizing the meat? <laughs> hey, hey, come on, no fooling around, right? <laughs> I'm tired. Some, someone's done a 180. I ain't never had good footwork. Never mind footwork, now you're all balanced. Look at the shoes, a little flat, black leather, I don't know, it's not what I expected. Come here, kid, come here. To keep you company when you run. Oh, 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 oh. For good? Oh, oh it's as good as if you win it. Why do I want them? Come here. Yeah. Each little turtle. Yo, my kid. Yeah. I wonder if that's his dog that he had and sold, and then when the movie got agreed to be made, when he sold it, he got him back. I wonder if that is his dog. That would be awesome. The next heavyweight champ in the world, Rocky Balboa! Right there, Rocky Balboa. Listen, we want to get a brief interview in with you. It won't take long. What about me? What about you? I'm in charge of the meat. <laughs> what we're going to do is just ask you a few questions, Rocky. Just a few questions about your unique training method. Talk to the folks at home. What about the background for the interview is just, carcasses. Today we're here with heavyweight challenger Rocky Balboa. The reason we're standing in hey, this refrigerator... Hey, the meat guy's sticking his face in. <laughs> the meat guy's sticking his face in. 
My friend, the guy over there, he let me in one day and I hit the beef here and I kind of liked it. And since I've become a challenger, the owner don't mind neither that I come in. And just pound all the meat. How much is being channeled into West Coast closed circuit advertising? 300,000. Make 450. And send the mayor's wife 200 roses from me. He's not phased at all. He's worried about sending his barber to Philly. He's not worried about the contender. <laughs> Don't give away too much. Stop. Looks like he means business. Yeah, yeah, I mean business too. Hey, Shirley, we got any more coffee out there? Oh, oh certainly, Mr. Creed. I'll... He was warned. I don't want nothing from you. Get out of my house. It's not just your house. You're no friend no more. <laughs> He's good. I don't raise you to go with this scumbag. Yeah, come on. Want to hit on me? Come on. I'll bring both your arms so they don't work for you. Stop! I don't get married because of you! You can't live by yourself! I put you two together and you... Go, you it. Why can't she live by herself? Is she that, like... Is it not just shyness? Is she... Need someone to look after her? And you made me feel like a loser! You oh, oh, no, 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 your friend! She just doesn't... You want a roommate? It's moving in together out of necessity, not out of natural romance progression. You're gonna become a very dangerous power. I want you to meet our cut man here, Al Savani. Take a look at his eye. How are you doing now? Cut man. And then they put that, like, Vaseline goo in it. Hey, wanna help me open these? Sure. Ah! <laughs> da -da -da. We know this. Like, this is the stuff that I've seen. I mean, parts, you know. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Let's go. And then to the top of the stairs. That's hard. Jeez. Go Sly. He is great in this. I guess I don't think of him as like, you know, one of these great actors. But he's great. He, when he's great, he's great. Like, this is perfect. No wonder he, he, you know, wrote it, made it, and it was such a hit. And it's that thing of like, it's such the perfect role for him because it's him. So it's supernatural. Not supernatural. Just super natural. <laughs> That's a great shot. Yeah! Yeah! Most famous shot of Rocky. Then they go up! <laughs> But I like that I have no idea which way they're gonna go. We're gonna go like Hollywood big happy ending and he wins? Or he doesn't and he still did amazing. This would be terrifying. Brings you here tonight. Mr. Jurgens, the post is wrong. What do you mean? Well, I'm wearing white pants with a red stripe. It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, and Apollos are like Americana, red and white and blue. They don't think he's gonna be a threat at all. That one guy watching the TV report of him hitting all the meat could see it, but nobody else thinks he's even gonna come close to giving a fair fight. I hope he wins. I hope he wins. I know it's like the cheesy, more happy ending cliche, but I want him to win. Although if he's then the champion of the world in that class, then maybe then there's no real where to go for Rocky two and three and Maybe he doesn't win, but just gives a good fight. But I want him to win. Just win. Especially because Apollo's like, not even giving him any kind of like equal respect. You know, he doesn't think he's... I can't beat him. No. I've been out there walking around thinking, I mean, who am I kidding? I ain't even in the guy's league. Come on. You work so hard. Yeah, it don't matter. Because I was nobody before. 
Don't say that. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head or you. Nobody's ever gone the distance with Creed. And if I can go that distance to see, and that bell rings, and I'm still standing, I'm going to know for the first time in my life, you see? He's not going to win. He's not going to win, but he's going to go the distance. And that in itself is a win for him. Nice robe, Italian stallion. Come on, Rocky. I know you just want to go the distance, but let's hope for a win. Ed, let's go. This whole little team in their pink jackets. Don't you leave town, huh? <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. At least I know he doesn't die, because there's more films. Hey, what the hell is that? I trained you to be a fighter, not a billboard. I'm doing it for a friend. Aww. The story about tonight's fight, their style, their difference in style, you can quote a recent sports magazine which said, could be the caveman against the cavalier. I notice a buzzing in the background now, Bill. Could be the challengers getting ready to get into the ring. Okay! Hey, Look boy. at my date! <laughs> he's had 38 by knockout, and he's lost 20 fights. Yeah, which makes me wonder, can he stand it? You know, the stamina and the skill to last the three rounds. Oh, it's only three rounds? The Italian Stallion. Some meat sign on the back of his robe there. Have you seen what that was? I thought they just talked about three rounds before in that other fight, but I thought there was like 10 rounds in boxing or 12 rounds or something. He's in a, in a boat, riding in a boat as he spoke to George Ridiculous. Look at it, the show off. Apollo Green is doing the invitation to George Washington. He's throwing money. Remember when we were throwing it? Is he throwing money? Oh, yeah. oh, I don't <laughs> what is happening? It's too much with the Americana. Like... He looks like a big flag. Look at him. Is he talking to me? Let him talk. Let him talk. That's funny that this beat Taxi Driver for best film. And he has that, is he talking to me? And in Taxi Driver, he has, are you talking to me? That's weird. They must be friends. Apollo is just so cocky and like just having fun. I mean, great, have fun but I feel like he has no idea what's in store for him, I hope. Philadelphia is the Italian stallion, Rocky Balboa. Let's go, Rocky. Undefeated in 46 fights, a master of disaster, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Apollo Hitting him though, he's not. He's connecting like every time except for that one. Wait, I don't believe this. Yes, he is. He's down. I mean, not for good. I'm assuming, but like one hit. This Woo! is the first time the champion has ever been knocked down. The first time he's ever been knocked down. He's gonna be sure up. Now Rocky coming back out, and he's like a bull in a china pot. I mean, Apollo's getting those little face hits in and sending him back, but he didn't send him onto the ground like Rocky did. And he's trying to put him on the heart. He's mad. Throws him at the box. There's no way expected. He's putting a lefty, really taking him up against the rope. 
Yeah, 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 but not down. Not down the way that Apollo was, but a good hit. They're leading him back over to his corner. Rocky can hardly find his way. He he's, never been up. He's, sitting down. he's been hit so many times, though. Just broke. How's it look? Ah! Go for the ribs. Don't let that bastard breathe. The guy's great. He finally broke his nose. I know he just wants to go the distance, but I want him to win. Stop, stop. It's just going to be a going the distance, but boxing's on points and score. Hits, right? So Paula's winning by far. He is being barraged with lefts and rights to the head, to the body, to the head. The body, the body, the body, the body, the ribs. Champion right on the kitchen. <laughs> and the referee got in. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. That's end of round two. Oh, no, there are more. Yeah, I knew that wasn't right, the three. So there's like 10 or 12, right? Or sometimes there's even 15? No. <laughs> But he's going the distance. Thirteen. Oh, so is it fifteen? Is it fifteen total? Fourteen rounds. <laughs> Get up, 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 get up. Stay down. What? Why stay down? He's not doing it. It's okay, Adrian. He's not going to die. Just one. Let's go, Southpaw. Oh my gosh. The champion got a left to the ribs, his right rib. Oh. Okay, champ. Ah! <laughs> I can't see nothing. Got to open my eyes. Well, cut me. Cut me. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> yuck! I'm gonna stop the fight. Hey, you ain't stopping nothing, man. You ain't stopping nothing. You stop this fight, I'll kill you. Is that what the cut man does? I thought they just put like the Vaseline on and held it open, but to take the swelling down, he cut it and it all shot out. The 15th and final round. 15, 15, 15 rounds. All right, we got it. We know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, win, win. I know it was about going the distance, but win, win, win. Listen to this crowd. Another to the that left hand again. That left ah! Oh, the champion. Oh. Need to be no rematch. I ain't gonna be no rematch. The wrong one. Oh, that's the Adrian yelling. Wait, did he could have knocked Apollo out, but didn't held him up, or or the buzzer went until that's fifty. <laughs> And he didn't win. Apollo won. Aww. Oh. oh, that was so intense at the end. I feel like my eyes are watering. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even sad, it was just intense and emotional. Um, uh, okay, so he didn't win, but he, I mean, he basically did. But um, 
But so they announced Apollo, Reed, Apollo Creed was still the heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, but he went 15 rounds. 15 rounds, no one had ever done that. I feel like no one had done more than three or something with Apollo. Um, and not only that, I'm not a boxing aficionado, but did he not have the ability to knock Apollo out at the end and then kind of caught him and they ran in and the buzzer went? I feel like one more hit and Apollo would have gone down and then it's a knockout and Rocky would have been heavyweight champion of the world. I mean, ha, ah, it's too stressful. But look, had he won, I really wanted him to win. But had he won, I guess we wouldn't have anywhere to, not anywhere to go, but now maybe Rocky II, he wins and becomes heavyweight champion of the world. So I'm definitely gonna jump in next time and do that. Please, I hope you stay with me and come back for Rocky II. I keep playing this Rocky one, I think it's just Rocky. But um, that was awesome. I wanna find out if that dog is his. And, uh, and I wanna find out who that actor is that was Polly. Um, I mean, I know it was the Burt Young, but if it's who I was thinking of and what I've seen him in, but that was fun. I am, look, I am really enjoying seeing these movies that I hadn't seen that are so iconic and so famous and I get to see why. And even this many years later, you know, 50 years, um, it's, that was fun. That was a blast. So thank you so much for watching Rocky with me here on Popcorn Roulette and I will see you next time. I'm Kobe. Bye.